Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody emailed me this. I don't even know what it is. It's a bitmap, but it's uh, low resolution and it's fuzzy, and they want to turn it into a vector file, and you can see how fuzzy it is. I've already done it, and there it is. This is really pretty easy. You just got to go through a couple steps. And if the first thing I'm going to notice is that the bounding box is larger than the white, the graphic around it. So we're going to use a yellow box, fill it in with yellow, go to object, order, back a page. And you can see it's got like two bounding boxes. So to help Corel out, we're going to get rid of one of those bounding boxes by having it selected. Go to your flyout and get the crop tool and just crop out what you need. No more or no less than what you need, and then hit crop. And by having it selected, you didn't erase the original or anything else on your page. Now we're going to go to bitmap and resample it and turn it into 300 dots per inch. Then we're going to go to trace, which yours is going to be under bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and it's going to trace it. It's already done. <clears throat> and we're going to move the trace out of the way. And if you already see, we've got rid of a lot of that or all the white order back of page. So we just got the animals, which is very good, but they're still fuzzy. So, and they've got a gray line around them. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the dog and we're gonna left click, no feel, right click. Well, I guess it's all one thing and it doesn't matter. We'll go to object group and ungroup then we're gonna take the dog and use the Smart Fill tool. First of all, I wanna see how big this is. It is only less than four inches, so we're gonna set our nudge factor on four, our nudge distance, and we're gonna fill in that dog. And we're gonna move it out of the way. Now, don't worry about the cat yet. And we're gonna take this dog and we can do it while it's got the fill in it. If you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool. And click on the item when you get a bounding box and just Go through and, and smooth the dog out. You can do this without distorting too much. And if you don't have X7 or above, you can do it with just removing nodes. But the smoothing tool makes it really, really nice. And I'm just going through here. See, I didn't have it click. You need to have a bounding box to make it work. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can actually see it working. And just kind of smooth those things out. Smooth out the tail. Because you want a good, sharp vector file. Um, they're going to use this for a name tag for a veterinarian clinic. And they, it's going to be small, so it wouldn't really matter too much. We're going to do go ahead and do the inside of the cat. Um, even though we're doing the dog, it's doing the cat, and we'll go ahead. I'm not going to make it perfect for the video, and let's just see how we did. We got a few more spots right there. We got a sharp point, so just kind. Of, and if you don't have X7 or above, you can use the shape tool and just delete those nodes, delete that node, and it's going to kind of give you a rounder shape. But the the smoothing tool is a one of the neatest things Corel has put out uh, in many, many years, as far as I'm concerned. All right, we got the cat, we got the dog done. Now let's do the cat. So we're gonna fill the cat in with Smart Fill, and we're gonna move it out of the way. Now, we're not gonna worry about the top of the cat. And on this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go left field, uh, left click, right click, and I'm gonna get, so don't worry about this part of the cat. Worry about the part of the cat that's not in the picture. So let's get the smoothing tool again. And you can see that one bad spot right there. It's really close to the, um, and it's gonna just smooth it out. It's probably good enough. Don't worry about the top part of the cat or the part that the cat that's in the dog, because we're gonna totally uh, do something else there. Whoop. So let's just go around. Whoop, I'm on the wrong one. Now I've got a line over there. I'm trying to do this and look ahead. 
We've got a line over there, and I didn't have it clicked, so you got to have it clicked. We've got a couple of lines over here we don't really need. One, it goes underneath the dog. So grab your shape tool and take these two nodes and right click and break apart. Then take your virtual segment delete key and delete this part of the line. Now just take your shape tool and just join those two nodes again and we can make it still look like a cat. Now these are broken apart but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do the same thing here. Um, you know what, we're gonna just right click on that one and break that one apart and then right click and break that one apart. Now we can grab these and just delete them. There's a lot of things we could do here. We could just go up here using the virtual segment delete key and delete this. Now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out the bottom of the cat just a little bit with the smoothing tool. Smoothing tool is it's fantastic what it can do. And remember I said we're not worried about the inside, what's where the cat's meeting the dog? And here's why. Now we're gonna take the dog and left click, right click. We are going to get where the dog meets the cat and vice versa. Let's just put a two point line, like right there. Now let's go up to the other side of the cat that's touching the dog and we probably don't even have to do it because they're, they're so close together, but we're just gonna draw a two point line. Now get the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. So now you have the smoothness of the dog and the cat. Now we'll get rid of this line, take the pick tool and just hit delete. Now these are not touching, so we need to grab the shape tool and take that node and just have it Whoop, you don't want to do that. Take that node and just have it join that. For some reason, that um, thing is trying to do that. It snapped to it. Let's go down to the bottom where we had our other line. And we can just click on that with the shape tool and hit delete. We're going to take that node and just click it to there. Now, we're pretty confident we've got it looking pretty good. That foot needs a little bit of work. Uh, grab the wheel. My shape tool is not working right now, or my smoothing tool. We'll do it manually. I don't like that. There we go. And just smooth this out. There we go. So now what we have to do is just take the dog and smart fill it in black and nudge it over. Take the cat. Fill it in with black and nudge it over. Make the cat gray. And voila, you have two vector. I'm actually gonna uh, show her in another video I've already got done where you could run this twice and, and run the dog and the cat separately. And so this gray will really stand out. And just for that, I would put a little outline around the cat, make it something other than a hairline, just so the cat kind of shows up scale with objects, so in case you make it bigger or smaller. So when you engrave this, that black will be black, and then the cat will be gray, and it'll, it'll just pop out because the dog will be a little deeper. I truly hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.